Liquids are the future of snow and ice. 10 years from now, bulk salt applications will only be a distant memory. Liquids offer better efficiency, adaptability, and consistency than granular salt applications. They also provide a better avenue for the future of chloride-free de-icing. Many jurisdictions are already regulating chloride use, and that amount's only increasing annually. When using liquids for your de-icing and anti-icing programs, you will create tremendous benefit for both you as a contractor and for your customers as the property owner. This is due to the fact that you're gonna use up to 70% less salt, meaning savings for you as the contractor and savings for the property owner and the fact that they will have less chloride damage to their properties. There are many other benefits to using liquids, including major labor savings. Time and time again, we see that contractors are saving time and money by using liquids on both their parking lots with truck applicators, such as VSI by Boss Legacy Sprayers, and with tools like Snow Raiders on sidewalks. The reason for this labor savings is because each gallon of brine goes farther than the comparable salt. Again, because we're using 70% less salt, we can simply get more product down more quickly and more accurately. Another major benefit to liquids is that we can use salt brine additives to reduce our corrosion levels. By using a proper brine blend, we can reduce our corrosion levels to be 80% less than that of rock salt. This offers major benefits to our contractor equipment and also to our client's properties. Utilizing liquids in our operation also offers major chloride reduction benefits. So this not only benefits our environment, but also our client sites because we're putting less chlorides on their property. Liquids also work to lower working temperatures. With the proper brine blend, we've been successfully able to de-ice and anti-ice parking lots at less than negative 15 degrees Fahrenheit at our snow operation in Southern Minnesota. Liquid de-icing sprayers also offer longer and easier maintenance intervals because there's less moving parts in that equipment versus the comparable salt spreading equipment. Liquid sprayers also allow for precise application. All VSI by Boss Legacy sprayers come standard with rate control. What rate control means is that you input your desired gallons per acre and the system automatically adjusts your flow rate based on your speed to always apply the right amount of product. Liquid applications also offer more visual appeal. After the application has been made and the snow has melted, oftentimes with granular applications, the parking lots will still remain white because of oversalting. With liquid applications, you're putting down just the right amount of salt, so you're not gonna have that leftover residue and leftover salt on the parking lots. Customers will really appreciate this, and in fact, this has been a great selling point for us in our snow operation. We simply tell the neighboring properties, check out the work we do compared to your lot, and they can always see the difference because we don't have so much excess salt and we don't have the dead turf, grass, and landscaping in the springtime. Pre-treating with liquid also offers a lot of timing flexibility. In comparison, granular salt applications prior to a snow event must be done shortly before the snow event begins. The reason for this is because granular salt that gets put down gets run over by cars, turned into powder, and the wind blows it away. Once the wind blows it away, there's no more active ingredient on the surface and that treatment's no longer effective. With a liquid application, because you're putting it down as a liquid, it seeps into the pores and cracks of the asphalt and concrete, and the product stays there, even with traffic, wind, and other outside factors. You will have substantially less turf and landscape damage on your properties. In our snow operation, we actually give a guarantee. If you have any dead grass or dead landscaping due to chloride damage in the spring, we'll fix it for free. That guarantee is a big selling point for our customers. There's also tremendous benefit in the efficiency of the refill stations for liquids versus salt. In order to scale a salt filling operation on a regional level, you have to build large salt bunkers with bunker blocks, put a hoop enclosure over top. In some states, you even have to close that enclosure in so that the rain and snow can't get in there and cause runoff. You also need a loader and a competent operator to run that loader to load all your trucks. In contrast, you could accomplish the same thing with the liquids program simply by setting a singular liquid silo tank next to that enclosure. Now your process for refilling is as simple as backing up to the tank, hooking up your two inch cam lock hose to your VSI by Boss Legacy sprayer, turning on your onboard pump and engine, and filling the sprayer with the self-fill feature. Another great benefit to liquids is that you can cover a lot more ground with a smaller truck. In terms of heavier trucks, a non-CDL heavy truck can typically cover almost twice the ground of the liquid rig compared to a comparable salting unit. On the opposite end of the spectrum, with smaller one-ton trucks with a short bed, you can fit a VSI by Boss 305 Legacy Sprayer and cover over seven and a half acres pre-treating. A comparable salter may not even fit in that rig, and if it did, it wouldn't cover nearly as much ground. Using liquids to pre-treat your parking lot before plowing will offer tremendous benefits to your mechanical removal processes. Your trucks and loaders will now scrape much more cleanly, thereby requiring far less salt or liquid de-icer after the storm to clean up the residual snow and ice. 
An additional benefit to this better mechanical scrape is you'll have substantially better traction on your trucks and loaders, thereby making your fleet more efficient. In many operations, we've seen the ability to increase productivity on mechanical removal by up to 30% just due to increases in traction. Certainly liquids are something new and different, which can create organizational challenges in terms of training, education, and best practices in your business. Liquids also require a separate set of equipment. Acquiring the assets, storing the assets, and maintaining the assets can also create additional challenges in your business. That being said, at VSI by Boss Snowplow, we make our equipment as streamlined, simple, and efficient as possible to reduce these challenges to the furthest extent. The last challenge that we often hear about from contractors is rain and sleet events. I'm here to tell you that rain and sleet events are a challenge for any type of de-icing. This includes granular rock salt or liquids, although it's absolutely achievable with liquids. You simply need to apply at the right times and apply the right amount of product. When you're treating a rain and sleet event, you wanna make sure your pretreatment goes down with proper additive and is completely dry before the rain begins. The additives will help tackify the product to the surface and help hold through that rain. Additionally, to prevent freezing to the surface, what we wanna do is put another application down right about the time that the rain is going to transition to sleet or snow. Usually the concern about switching to liquids is felt the same way by contractors as it is by property owners. Although what we've noticed in our business is that customers quickly adapt. When they see how much faster you get to bare pavement and how much less tracking there is into their facilities, and when they find out how much less damage is happening to their properties, they'll typically get to a point where they actually demand liquids. 11 years ago, in our own snow and ice business, we were having great success with liquids. That year we gave clients the option. Would you like us to continue using rock salt on your property or can we use what we think is best? And that best thing being liquids. At that point, 80% of our customers elected to stick with what they knew and that was the crunch and feel of rock salt under their feet. After another successful season on 20% of our clients' lots using liquids, we knew that liquids was the only way. So we approached our remaining clients and asked that we could try liquids on their property. And if they weren't happy, we'd gladly take them back to rock salt. While they no longer had that crunch under their feet or no longer saw the salt on their lot, what they did see is bare pavement and bare pavement more quickly. They also noticed that they weren't tracking into their buildings. Their forklift operators commented how much cleaner the loading docks were. The trucking companies also commented how much safer and less slippery their lots were. This is all that our clients needed to hear to know that liquids were the best for their properties as well. Because liquids deliver such solid results, we're confident that both you and your customers will adopt it and never want to let it go. Continue watching this series to elevate your liquid IQ.